what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm giving you five type of guys that you should never date and I'm doing that right now guy number one that you should not date is the unavailable guy or Mr. Unavailable you know that guy who pursues you shows interest in you and then give you a bizarre story about an estranged wife or an ex-girlfriend that they cannot get rid of unfortunately a lot of women fall for this crap excuse expression <laughs> you know that guy who comes to you and says Oh, I'm no longer in love with my wife I don't I no longer um enjoy being with my wife and I'm thinking of divorcing her ladies that is a guy who is not available emotionally nine times out of ten it's a bald face lie it's an, the oldest, one of the oldest tricks in the books do not fall for it or oh, that guy who is freshly out of a relationship like they just broke up and they come to you and they show interest in wanting to be with you you do not want to date such a guy because when a relationship is over you need time off to process everything that happened and also to get yourself right before you jump into the next one so chances are he is not over the previous relationship and you there's a good chance that you will end up being the rebound girl and you do not want to be that. Okay? Guy number two that you should not date is the ladies man. Now we all know the ladies man. You are only his girlfriend in private. But in real life, he lives the life of a single man. He has all these women surrounding him. All his, the contacts in his phone are women. All the calls. When you are with him, he gets calls upon calls upon calls. All from women. This, honey, you do not want that headache. I promise you. Nine times out of ten, he will end up being a womanizer. A man who is ready for you. Who is ready to have something serious with you. Will put aside all these women and make you the number one woman in his life so you, it's okay if he has female friends but you don't want that man who is a ladies man all his friends are women come on you don't want that if you proceed to date this man and even marry him you are most likely to have a lifetime of fighting other women a lifetime of heartache and pain and honey you do not want that okay type of man number three that you should not date is the mama's boy nobody likes a mama's boy trust me don't get me wrong it is amazing to have a man who loves his mom who respects his mom who treats his mom like the queen that she is and that is amazing but i'm talking about that grown-ass man who is not independent still of his mom you know that guy who needs approval literally from his mother to do anything you know the, every now and then he calls up his mom and is like mom should i brush my teeth and he said yeah go ahead baby sorry <laughs> i know that's extreme but you know what i'm saying nobody likes a mama's boy and as a mom myself to a boy you know i hope that i raise my son to be independent i love him and of course i expect my son to love me but i do not want my son literally attached to my apron strings and every now and then my son is calling me should i do this boy if you don't get off my phone like i want to raise a son that is independent and that is what you want who can stand on his own two feet as a man and make his own decisions because if you end up dating this man and marrying such a man there's the chances that you're going to be completely miserable because it will be like mar being married to him and his mother because i know I, we all know women and people who are having these problems in marriage because 
the man is a mama's boy and he cannot take any decisions concerning his family without his mother's approval and if you're not lucky and his mother does not like you sweetie you are in for a heartache don't do it guy number four that you should not date is the i'm just kidding mansplainer you know that man who makes little jokes about you you notice that maybe you go out with him on a date and he makes little comments that make you that makes you not feel too good especially about maybe your body or about something about you that you probably cannot change like oh you look so pretty if you were skinnier and you're like what what would you say and usually they'll be like oh no 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 i'm just kidding no no he was not you do not want to date this type of man that man who gives you backhanded compliments or points out little things and nitpicks at you say things that brings down your spirit and um quickly says oh i was just joking no 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 because there's a good chance that if you go ahead to date this man he's probably a narcissist you know and <laughs> after some time you're not going to get the whole apology about oh i'm just kidding next time it's going to be that rude comment and yeah it is what it is by this time maybe you have already fallen in love and you find yourself in, with this abusive toxic man you don't want that honey no guy number five that you should not date is the man who needs fixing and i know as women it's like because we are so nurturing you are always to be uh, sometimes always always tempted to fix a man you know you meet a man and he has all these issues maybe he cannot keep a job he he is like he's miserable everything in his life has fallen apart maybe he has a drinking problem he's a drunkard maybe he's abusive and a lot of women think I can fix him oh if only I, I show him love if only I pray for him if I show him what an amazing woman I am maybe he will change don't do it you don't want to be Bob the Builder because there's so many stories out there so many women out there who have done that tried so hard to fix a man you can't nobody can fix a broken man nobody can fix if he does not is not ready to do the work okay if he's not ready to help himself there's no way you can fix anybody a man or woman you cannot without their permission they must want to fix themselves so if you meet a man who has all these issues and he needs fixing tell him to go fix himself and come back to you when he's he is ready for something serious okay Thank you so much guys for coming to the end of this video i want to take this opportunity to thank all my amazing subscribers like you have been amazing just last week or so i just woke up and all these subscribers had showed up and i'm like wow where are you from just kidding i love you so much thank you for your support thank you for your likes and your comments i really appreciate it keep it coming and guys share my video if you really want to support me make sure first of all you subscribe and share my videos a road to 500 please get the subscriptions in share the videos like comment and all the good stuff so until my next video bye Mwah.